What's up everybody? It's John here from johnnyoctave.com. I'm glad you guys are back and I'm happy to be here teaching you guys some blues today. So uh, what's, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys this cool blues uh, intro, like lead in or a turnaround. You can kind of use it for both. So what I got going on here, uh, slide with your third finger from the third string, third fret to the fourth fret, just like that. And then what I do is I reach over and, and uh, grab the, the B string, third fret of the second string, that note, just like that. And you want these you want these two notes right here to ring at the same time, okay? Make sure you guys can get that. And then high E open, so it's this. Okay? Right? And then what I do is I move down, Uh, a half step, okay, half step, one fret. So that same shape goes down. It's not, I think you know sometimes I, I I half step slide that second one, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just move that sucker down, just like that, okay. So the picking is exactly the same, the same shape and everything, okay. Now that puts you at the third fret on the G string, second fret on the B string, and your high E is still open. Right? Same shape, same exact shape, just move it down uh, another half step. So you're just moving this thing down in half steps. Same shape. So right there, our last shape, that the one I just showed you is uh, third finger on the uh, G string, second fret, and your second finger is on the B string, first fret. Okay, let me play all that together slow for you. So you saw right at the very end of that, this, this little lick here at the end, what we're going to do there is we're going to pick the open uh, uh, G string, we're going to hammer on to the first fret G string. So it's that. If you guys are new to hammer-ons, hammer-on is basically you know, picking a note, in this case it's the open third string, and you're slamming your finger down, for lack of a better term, slamming it down on the first fret G string to sound the notes. You don't pick, it's not that, it's this. Pick, hammer. So you need to get as much force as you can to sound that note, okay? Okay, and after that hammer, we've got open B string, open high E. Just like that. Uh, you guys, I did it, you know, right there. I did it with my second finger. You can do it with your first finger, it doesn't matter. Okay, just, just depends on what I've, what I'm feeling like at the moment. It's, it's how I'm feeling. Okay, so um, the next thing we do here is, okay, now what those three notes are, those, all those notes are in the A string, the fifth string, okay, this guy. And uh, what those notes are, right, open A, first fret A string with your first finger, second finger, second fret on the A string, the fifth string, so it's that. Okay? Now, it would be wise that you use this, the same fingers that I'm showing you because what we're going to do is we're going to form this cool chord. B7 at the very end of the, the entire riff, okay? 
just like that. And the way that you form that chord is your second finger, which you just played from the riff before it. So you're already set up to go for this chord. Second finger, second fret, A string. First finger, first fret, D string. Third finger on the second fret, G string. Like that. The B string is going to be open, so you have this together. And your pinky, your pinky is going to go on the high E string, second fret. We've got that. B7, so you guys can see that. Okay. So at the end, the very end of that riff, So let me put all that stuff together for you. Sounds like this. Slow. Okay. Um, and just a quick, quick note on the on the picking on all this stuff is uh, I think I find what's most comfortable for me is. Is to get into the riff. I do it. I initially do a downstroke on that note, okay. And then the next two notes, I find it comfortable to, to do upstrokes. So, so those that note and that note are an upstroke. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, hammer. This riff right here, I alternate pick those notes. Downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, and then two attacks there on, on the actual chord itself, the B7 chord. Okay, so let me play that a little closer to the way I played it in the very beginning up to speed uh, so that you can see it up close. Way it'll sound and look, and let's make a. I want to make a quick note about uh, where you place that in in a blues. Okay, um, if you're playing a 12 bar blues, it's it's the it's the the last couple of measures of, of the uh, of the progression. So, for instance, if I'm uh, if I'm playing an E blues, something like this. exactly what this is, is a turnaround, obviously. Uh, so I hope you guys have fun with that. Uh, be patient with it. You know, if you guys are just starting uh, turnarounds or you're tar starting to pick, you know, single note riffs and all that, give it some time. Be patient and uh, you will soon have a cool blues turnaround in your playing. You guys have fun and I'll see you next time.